When I got back into golf, I had zero touch around the green. So I spoke to a local PGA Tour coach. He gave me one drill that basically changed everything for me. So this drill works like this. First of all, you need to soak your towel. The wetter, the better. And when you lie that down then on the green, it's gonna perform much more like a normal green does. So it won't impact the ball too much. From there, you wanna pick a spot where you're gonna practice your chipping from, like I've done here. And you start by walking the towel out five paces. So that's effectively five yards or meters, depending on how you measure it. The goal is that you're then gonna chip, and you're gonna chip, in this case, five balls. The aim is to chip it onto the towel. You wanna get as close to the towel as possible, and then see how far the ball rolls out. That's really what this is about. Being able to hit your target, but then how far does the ball roll? Ultimately, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from five paces to the towel, then we're going to go 10 paces to the towel, 15 paces, and so on. It's up to you how many you do it from. Each time, play in a few shots to try and land it on the towel, and then pace out to measure how far to the ball from there. They've all come a very consistent distance past, and that was, for me, six strides past the towel. So already you'll get the idea of this drill. It's basically about having a good, solid idea in your mind how far the ball's going to go, because that's going to give you the feel that you want. What I did and what it was explained to me is that you should do it with a few different clubs if you've got the time. So you can do it with your lob wedge, in my case 60 degree, or 54 degree, which is the club that I use the most. And then it's up to you, something like a pitching wedge, maybe a 9-iron, 8-iron, depending on how versatile you want to be around the greens. This is my 54 degree. So what I'm going to expect to see here is a slightly lower ball flight, hits the towel and runs just a fraction bit longer. This is a club I'm pretty comfortable with and will use quite a lot. Then we're going to change to the 60 degree to the lob wedge and again slightly longer swing because you need it to go that bit further and there's more loft on the club but you're just going to expect it to pop up a little bit more. Pop up and bite a little bit more when it lands. So it's four strides to the 60 degree ball. It's five to six to where the 54 ones are at. So that tells me that if I come to this golf course, if I know nothing else, if my technique is nowhere else, it's gonna give me a feel. And obviously what I said before is that you would do this from five to the towel, from to 10 to the towel, 15 to the towel. If you've got the space, you'll need a bigger green, obviously, to let it run out. Again, measure how far to the golf balls and keep that as a note. I write it down in a notebook see where I'm at. Again, do it with a 60 degree, do it with your 54 degree, and do it with something like a 9 iron or an 8 iron. And really the beauty of it is that it doesn't matter what golf course you go to, what condition the greens are in, because you can do this test, calibrate your numbers very quickly before you play, and it's going to give you a really solid idea for when you go out onto the golf course. Ultimately, this is why we do this drill. So I get myself onto the first hole, and I can sort of get a feel for the distance. So I can go ahead and pace it out. So it's five paces to here. And then from here I can go ahead and count all the way up to the pin. And that's another six paces. So that's given me a good idea. And sure, now I need to factor in if there's any elevation changes, if there's slopes and breaks and things like that. But basically, I'm now starting to get an idea this is my landing point. So I know if I carry my 54 degree five strides for me, I should have a good expectation it's gonna run out another six. So even there, that's not my best strike, but it has done what I wanted it to do. It's got up there pretty close to gimme distance. I can hopefully make my putt and move on. 